Hello everybody, let's say in the hello universe. I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna talk about how to create your own OST for your game or for your movie or TV series or for your book. You want to open a book and then sound appears and it is listening like you're listening to the music box for example, yes? How to create it to invite your reader, viewer, speaker spectacular to your event, to invite to this atmosphere, to vibe, how to create the music that will be applicable for something. Like you are entering the room of the castle and then it will be hearing of cellos, also something like strings and hammers with a little bit of waltz, waltz uh, ritmo and uh, sounds of metal things. Okay, it, it is, uh, we will talk about it. By the way, who am I? in a mini of my comp competency. Why should you listen to me or should not? I I am not a super like uh, famous composer uh, uh, yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a super famous composer yet. And uh, But I like to create music uh, by drums. Sometimes I sit down and only play by what I create by my, by my inside of my head ears. Yes? Like I feel it. And sometimes I play piano, I don't learn songs on piano, I try to compose my own and sometimes they sound really nice. I know the rules of it, how to play it correct in a way of sound good, like it will be fifth from fifth step to the one step, it is kind of theory of music uh, if you are not uh, familiar with it. I know how it is uh, right soundish in society way, how to make a pop song like uh, it is super easy, need to uh, do uh, really a chord progression of four, uh, four chords, that's all, like it will be a little bit of A, M, then C major, then G, then maybe F, or maybe it will be, you can, you can choose, do you know what, you can choose for example a f and then to c or maybe a, okay it is kind of uh, dif different combinatorics of your music. Uh, I right now feel a little bit of unconfident, but okay, I I'm not fully inside of the music theory, but I know what sounds good in a mini of sound is good. Uh, I'm not good in speaking in it in English, in Russian sometimes too, but uh, I'm getting better. What's more ex my experience of uh, playing music uh, for you, for your competency? Like five years and two of them are composing, like uh, creating something new. Yes, well, th that's why maybe you should listen to me. I also play ukulele, also play guitar and uh, also sticks, <laughs> chopsticks and uh, flute and harmonica like this way. One moment, we'll open it. Um, this way a little bit of Deutschland come came to our ears. So and also I'm a writer who is a good writer, really. I want to say that I'm amazing writer. I know main things of writing and uh, if I want, I will be successful in this field. What I, what should I do in, uh, in a writing field? It is uh, like uh, to do something that society needs right now, kind of. The, the pillow of success uh, to them, but uh, it is not uh, like a real need to iterate, 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 do this for society and that's, uh, then you will be famous. But if you want to, right now, to show them like uh, everything is good, then need to do nigger triggered, uh, oh, oh, Jesus, uh, no, uh, negative, ne negative triggering, neg negative triggering content, need to do, Jesus, I said this word, sorry, excuse me, uh, really, excuse me, I do you want to, and uh, really, really. And need to do negative trigger, triggering content if you want to kind of uh, to, to be a good writer in nowadays. Nowadays, like need to do negative triggering content in a, in a meaning of like need to do something negative to to go fast on this field. But we are going on a kind speed, so we are going a little bit 
slowly, but we will win this race. So, uh, f five minutes almost about nothing about competency and about these things. I'm a writer and also a musician. And I like to play music. That's why maybe you can believe me. So, about music, what should we consider? We should consider three things, if you want to compose your own thing. First, it is acoustic of your, of your place, about what you want to create a composing, uh, you want to create a music. For example, you can pick castle, or you can pick the specific rivers, sounds of uh, like uh, sound of music near the river inside of your game or maybe inside of your movie or you can create music inside of this uh, blacksmith yes when we have hammers mullets and uh, mullet mullet uh, i i don't know what's name it uh, correctly mullet mul uh, okay and uh, also you can pick the location for example it will be sheep like it will be Pirates of the Caribbean thing, or maybe it will be something like a dragons will be, something fantasy, super like creature. Pick the, the room where you are. What I mean by room in this context? Room is the place, like location, okay, location. Location that are kind of how to say it, uh, that cover, that covering some places in a measurements. For example, a room, a room of the castle, class room or something else, okay? And then look at this location inside and uh, what are inside of this location. If it is classroom, then inside you have a measure, also you have uh, the blackboard, or maybe uh, this whiteboard, or maybe green board, also you have teacher inside, students, also they have food inside of their pockets, also yes, you inside of their, uh, not pockets, but uh, in, uh, in, a, in their bags, yes, and also you have uh, maybe d d d director, inspector, this uh, this person who is inside of the inside of the school also you have uh, maybe a sound of the ring bell and uh, you have also chuck chuck it is a uh, thing that you do on a uh, on this uh, board also you maybe have pens pencils also notebooks anything you can have inside of the classroom uh, what you will not say about the ship inside of the ship you have this uh, this tight ropes yes uh, things also ropes also people strong people they are like uh, heavy uh, sometimes sometimes they are silly like uh, with a little bit of uh, dizziness uh, they have sometimes it's the storms uh, outside environment it is uh, our phenomenals that are going everywhere like uh, it is wind al also thunderstorms and things of this nature i imagine what are the condition of this place okay right now we will compose so you've seen this place you've seen the things first we picked all the items what are inside then we use the most frequently used items for this scene for example if you write a song about the cook the school and uh, it is a, a break inside of the classroom for example break yes f when they eat something and uh, they are having fun and doing something really nice you already imagine the music i i at least imagine the music right now they they are taking their eating things they are laughing to each other and this kind of funny chilly songs and maybe it will be guitar sound because uh, maybe someone picked a guitar with himself or maybe they will play on the on this uh, tables if they want to make it more pop punkish pop punkish sound uh, it is it will be something like uh, violating the rules violating in a funny way they they are having fun and doing something that are forbidden for them they are forbidden to do this sounds on their 
and it is so punk rockish and they do this and uh, it is sound of kind of not silliness but uh, they are free to do things uh, freedom of punks and uh, then it will be punk songs about yes we eat these things it is amazing and the guitar is playing or if it is kind of chill atmosphere nice relaxed and uh, it is the the music of uh, of fashion then it will be maybe some girls are are talking to each other no it is not music of uh, med of this it will be kind of chill chill music it, chill means that maybe a little bit of uh, piano will be on the ground chill in the meaning of uh, look piano in a way they have kind of five o'clock tea talk with each other a little bit of piano not su not su not super heavy piano here is playing and also a little bit maybe of uh, bells and uh, something like high notes because they are talking about their ears maybe a little bit of of uh, also guitar will be playing on the background a little bit so a high notes a little bit a little bit of it imagine it and uh, it will be a little bit uh, they are talking about these things and maybe drums will be not super loud it will be maybe like their sticks of uh, this eyeliners i don't know what's uh, the tempo of it but uh, need to imagine this okay and how to pick a tempo how to pick a tempo for your scene i imagine okay so we we picked the we picked the instruments how to pick this uh, look at the scene and I imagine um, about uh, earrings, you heard that earrings, it is sounds of something metallic and not super, not super loud because they are small. If they are small, then it is sound of something high pitched and not super loud. It will be ring or maybe triangle, but not super loud triangle. It will be like a small, it is sounds of it. I imagine all the sin and pick the instruments that will be like a people. I imagine that your scene, your scene musical instruments, they are their objects that inside of this scene. Six objects, this maybe eight, eight objects will be enough. Or maybe four, three, two, sometimes one, if it is a scene of the someone is sleeping at a slowly by by music box. Or maybe it will be a girl that is singing. Okay, we picked this. Next, what should we do in this uh, field if we want to go forward? We should go to <laughs> we we should we should go to the tempo and to the beat and to the rhythms. And uh, here is we should. I'm not super professional uh, again in this field, but I I'm good. I think in some things in feeling the vibe, in feeling the atmosphere. Okay, and about the previous things that I talked, it is uh, not like a super nice recommendation that's strong and uh, you should do this. It is only the right way, not uh, anything else. It is kind of my imaginative uh, way of talking. Sometimes I felt it, and uh, so. Rhythms, how to do this? Need to imagine what's the movements. They are impulsive or they are flowy and they are so like it is flute playing. Like, look, look at my fingers. They are doing this way. They are doing, they are doing right now faster, 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 faster. Like right now they are flowy, but they are, look, right now they are flowy, but they are fast. Are, but right now they are more like fast, but also a little bit of impulsive and uh, a re really a bit of maybe nervous or uh, fast and uh, really ready to go, ready to go to home, guys. It is uh, five seconds till our lesson will be ended and I want to go to home or to to the dress room or maybe a man room or woman room to to do a pee, yes? Maybe I want to do this fast, Jesus Christ. And uh, I can't wait to go to home to play World Warcraft game or maybe another game like uh, what's uh, right now, Fortnite. Night, yes, Brawl Stars. I want to go to home playing the fast as possible. And also, what's more about these things, uh, you should see objects that are uh, again frequently used objects. If your scene has a board and it is not using, then don't use it. But it, if if it is small board, if it is a huge, I mean, what's the role of your object in your scene? 
the more role of this object, the more you should be focused on this object, okay? And about the rhythmus. Rit rhythmus, it is you should again pick frequently used object in your scene and then and then uh, <laughs> kind of imitate their rhythmus. I imagine that uh, the most frequently used object in your scene it is uh, like uh, will be, for example, it will be these balls of physics. Do you remember these three balls here, or four, or five? And here is ten, 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 ten. Then, uh, then rhythmus will be like metronome. It will be our metronome. It is kind of this rhythmus. But if we imagine that it will be the it will be not a classroom, it will be again Pirates of the Caribbean, here is the ship, yes, and it is going on a storm, it is kind of impulsive sometimes, and really like with attention, and it, t not attention, tension, with, with attention, and it is flowy like this way, and also something here and there, it means that it will be a little bit of uh, maybe strings playing, it will be a violin, violin, or maybe it will be cello, cello, because it is so strong cello uh, cello 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 or even contrabass it will be vroom, vroom, vroom. and also maybe it will be it will be if it is calm then maybe it will be a little bit of violin yes violin or, or alto or viola viola it is uh, more like bassy but uh, it will be lower, lower sound of our things. It is almost cello. Not contrabass, but uh, almost. If it is going to be a little bit of stormy, then it will be a, li a bit of drums. Boom, 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 boom. It is maybe because of the, the earthquakes n n under, under us. And also it will be a little bit of uh, cello, because it is louder, it is bassy, bassy, not uh, this so super like calm uh, viola, it is super chill and nice, or even flute, flute is so, f so like airy, airy sounds, and fairy tale, and Jesus Christ, it is so amazing life, and we are chilling together, <laughs> the flute playing, <laughs> yes, and uh, one sound from my uh, notification. It will be a stormy. Stormy means some bassy and so like impulsive sometimes. Yes, and uh, I imagine what's the condition of your sin. Next, okay, we picked uh, the acoustic version of our things. Yes, acoustic means uh, what what are the instruments we use. Second, uh, we use and also you can pick the instrument by their like constructions, materials. For example, if it is the scene of uh, wooden things, then I imagine all the instruments with wooden don't use a lot of uh, <laughs> like uh, not really nice way. Maybe, maybe it is all we have ex exceptions from the th scenes. I imagine you are doing the song a song in a wooden place, and you use all things not wooden, fully not wooden. Uh, everything will be with. Uh, with this, uh, how to say it, with metallic things, <laughs> Me metal, metal, and also maybe it will be, uh, uh, no, uh, yes, uh, yes, metallic, everything will be metallic, all sounds of ting, 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 and this it will be uh, nice only sometimes, not every time, it will be good if you will use a little bit of wooden things inside of the wooden places. If your place is wooden, then use something. Like, I imagine, fully wooden places. You already s hear something. Yes, sometimes metallic sounds will be, maybe. If we do a kind of reconstruction of this place, or maybe it is only for a funny way, like uh, to play with our uh, imagination. Uh, but mostly it will be wooden pl uh, things, in most cases. Again, it is not a rule. It is only like uh, how it feels for me, sometimes. Sometimes it feels really uh, okay, it will be a little bit of metallic things too. Because I want to make it inside of my house of wooden places, of wooden things, okay? Next, third thing that you should uh, pick it is uh, the mood, the mood of your sin. Would you like to use uh, kind of uh, sadie? 
say the things, then pick already inside of YouTube uh, everything you can find on YouTube this how to create a sad song. It is about chord progressions. Chord progressions and using music, music theory. It is uh, a bit of about our rhythms, but you can feel it already. It is maybe the most uh, the most easiest thing. You already picked the impulses, you already picked the the instruments, then you should pick a little bit of uh, mood and sometimes mood can change your instruments, sometimes can change your rhythms. Fully or not fully. A little bit or not a little bit. It all depends on your scene and about your characters. Is it that character who is fully inside of his body and he fully accepted? Or it is uh, some, some, something psycho that could be really like uh, fully changing because of the mood? And you change it because of the mood. Pick your main, main, classif main, main classes, main classes of your uh, maybe you your attentiveness to your muse um, to your musical instruments or your attentiveness to rhythm. What is the main part of it? Or you are attentive to move to the mood of the character inside of your scene. What is the main? And then it will be your lead vocal, lead line, lead motif. The main phrase of your song, like uh, you remember, maybe. This uh, kind of Harry Potter. I think that I a little bit missed uh, missed a pitch in one in the beginning, a little, a little bit, and uh, but I know it. And uh, also, you can. It is the late motive. And uh, the main line, but also in in the begin in the background, you can hear sounds of different different things. Maybe it will be violas, also something else. Uh, hear something from uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> And and here will be boom 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 and uh, it will be sounds of uh, another instruments but main line main line it's something really really small you can create it by your own sing something and then you already are a musician or maybe you are a composer like sing something that will be super unique this way uh, oh, it is uh, something from uh, Shrek okay. This type of songs you can create it by your own, sometimes it will be feeling of that you used somebody else's song. But if you don't have this feeling, then you pick memo fast or maybe camera fast. This way you start recording and and here is some characters may maybe appear in your scene and uh, do this till the the moment when it will be kind of good for you sound it's uh, soundish and for me it sounds really nice for some scenes not for every not for everything for cons consumer good sound like uh, commercial any song will be good Guys, for your confidence, any song is good. It all depends on the current moment of this usage. For the current consumers of your song. You can accept everything. I can accept everything. Everybody can accept everything. But if you want to make a dinero from it, then you need to a little bit of kind of consumer like how to know what what is the popular for the consumer need to listen what's the popular right now what where are the attention of people and then need to produce this type of content it is what i talked about the 
about what? About what? Huh? Uh, I talked about this uh, previously. Ah, about books. Yes, you remember. I talked in the beginning about my books, book write, books writing experience. And I talked this way, that uh, sometimes we have something vector of the society, where they, where are, where they are going, w what they are listening, and what they are reading. And uh, we should kind of think about this. If our goal is to do consumer thing, then you should do for consumers. But firstly, when you do kind of collecting your experience, you collect it. I by my own collect too. I'm not a composer fully yet. <laughs> I'm a composer in my feeling inside of me, like I feel it. Uh, really, I, I'm a musician. I want to say that I'm a musician and, uh, and writer. Writer more, mostly. Writer of of books and music, okay? And uh, I do kind of, I have one more channel where I upload my content when I sing songs, like my composing works of singing, lead, lead vocal, lead line, late motifs. And I do this. And uh, you can do the same kind of create 1000 different songs and you will be, you can say that you are a composer. Yes? Uh, then, when you have the main line, what you need to do? You need to use uh, something music harmony things, like to make it sound good. To make it sound with chords, with things. All starts from zero. All starts from the small song, small line, small late motif, really. And uh, I think so. Or maybe from the chord progressions, or for maybe, uh, maybe from the rhythm, or maybe from the name or from the song or feeling or maybe from the word everything starts from something like from something focusing on from something and then goes prettier 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 if you want to make it prettier and uh, maybe <laughs> uglier <laughs> it all depends on the mood of your feeling of uh, uglier in the meaning of not like it is not a really nice song uglier in the meaning of mood mood for this uh, conditions uh, where is the event sometimes we need ugly song for a condition of the of the movie or maybe of the game but uh, mostly let's do good <laughs> we want good we want nice but it will be kind of two sides like g good and evil evil and good good and medieval <laughs> medieval it is the 1500 years and uh, you know right now what to do and uh, in my opinion i do this now i want to create 3000 different late motives of my own more than 3,000, 3,500, maybe it will be good. 3,500, it will be good, and then I can name myself as a composer, I think. So, now I don't have this number. I do kind of, what I record, I recorded already kind of 16 or 15, 14, 13, a little bit. Also, I have uh, writings, songs, I mean, that I uh, written texts of them. Also, I have the playing instruments sometimes i have songs inside of me i play them but i don't record this on video what all what i spoken what i have spoken it is about the songs that i recorded i don't have the final versions of them because i understand that now in my current in my current level i should focus more on grind and on volume volume of things than quality when it will be kind of volume of things uh, and I do them repeatedly, then I can improve them. It is kind of creating main patterns. I am on the field of fundamental basics, fundamental basics of composing. Then I do a little bit of uh, experience. I do more volume of them and they are stacking more and I am going to make it kind of higher, higher and higher. And it means that... Uh, easy patterns learned, then it will be more complex, 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 and uh, then it will be kind of nice and amazing, huge, huge, uh, huge amounts of uh, arrays of data that are collected from the beginning, and then they are stacking more. So, thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if yes, let me know in the comment section below, and by the way, I need to answer to the questions, I hope that Fiona is watching me, she asked me the question in the previous video and thank you for everybody who was writing gold to G Jean thank you so much for writing to me also thank you now Reap 
Alpha and Column. Thank you a lot. And uh, thank you. It's Crema too. It's Crema too. Thank you a lot. And Terry Nason too. Fiona Morales asked me. Let me ask you this. Do you consider the worlds you create and the languages you create as fantasy? A little bit, yes. A little bit. Sometimes I can use them... Maybe I can apply them to the programming languages. I can kind of transverse them or how, what's the what's the name of it when you put when you take one thing and you then transcribe this to another functioning we can use it and uh, yes right now they are more fantasy than for useful purposes but then they will be useful in a meaning of fantasy i mean that they are right now used but used for the characters of my fictional world. Mm -hmm. And maybe real world, I don't know. But uh, in the meaning of society, it is fantasy, okay? Next, and would we or should we consider your words and languages as such, regardless of whether it matters or not? Uh, either to you or to us. You can do anything. You can do anything in your life, absolutely, because uh, you are the alive person and uh, nothing I say is uh, wrong, nothing I say is right. And uh, it means that if you choose, you choose what is right, what's wrong for you. For me, it is the way how I entertain myself inside of my mind, how I create things and how it is all creative. And uh, in a mini right or wrong, it means the society r rules, society, society thing. As I, as I said before about song, songwriting, that I created it, uh, I created this video only to share my opinion. That feels for me right, right now. And uh, maybe from some days, it will be not really a right feeling for me, fully. Like some things will be right, some things will be wrong. And uh, you understand, and I use uh, this life in, a, I, how to say it, I use this life, I live this life in the meaning of, I think that, uh, that everything is right, everything is right, it, it is all depends on uh, what you, what you do and how you apply it, you always can, you always can create creative way to, to use some things to do like you can for example use this as a shovel but it will be not super effective but you can use it you can use it okay you can kind of do your shoveling snow and it will be useful but not fully in a comparing with a shovel but if we will use a lot of them like one two three four five twenty four one row twenty four another and it will be shovel then maybe it will be more useful than real shovel. Maybe. If the shovel that we mean, that we meant as shovel, real shovel, will be not super productive, the, it will be kind of broken or something, then this, if it is working and working nice, then maybe your pen shovel will be better than your broken shovel. I mean this in, in this way. Always you can create creative ways you can find creative ways to do things, always. And I think that everything is right, except of, I think that we have wrong things, and wrong things is uh, something that against humanity. It means that killing people, it is wrong thing, okay? Killing alive people, wrong thing, okay? Don't do this in real life. In, in uh, stories, you can do this, uh, every day and every moment of your life but in real life please don't do this please be i i want to say be lovely be lovely and love people around share kindness to them and always speak with them and uh, hug each other and to share love to kiss kiss each other and uh, share lovability to them either to you or to us not sure why i must it, but feel the need to for some reason okay i think that i answered that <laughs> It is uh, for fantasy, fantasy things, sharing love, guys, hugging you. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this and always improve so daily. Go forward to your dreams. Everything depends on you in this life. Please improve so daily and hugging you. Thank you. See you next time. Go forward. You can do anything.